Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television on an absolutely gorgeous Wednesday morning, hump day. I am standing down on the Naples Pier, looking back to the east, enjoying the colors of sunrise. A nice breeze blowing out here, 78 degrees, 78 degrees. Expecting it to get up to around 90 today, around 90. It's gonna feel like 100, over 100 with the humidity. The fishermen are already making their way out here. Some people taking a little morning stroll. The pier is just starting to come alive. Thanks for tuning in. As soon as it gets a little brighter, we'll walk out to the end of the pier. Have a look around, maybe get lucky, see a dolphin. You never know. Maybe witness a fisherman catching something. Then I'm gonna take you for a little stroll along Third Street South, show you some of the shops and restaurants of Third Street South. Just a couple blocks from here. So a little something different this morning, a little something different. I do have some prayer requests here for you. One, please. Our friend David Stewart, please keep him in your prayers. He needs prayer for his health. Please keep David Stewart in your prayers. And I had a, got a prayer request from our friend Daryl his moderator, she lost her dog. So please pray for her. We all know what it's like to lose one of our furry companions. I believe her name was Alexis. I hope I got that right, Alexis. <laughs> Please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. She's the moderator for the group Serenity and Sunshine. Anybody else needing some prayers, please don't hesitate and adding them here in the comments. I'm gonna spin around here. I don't know what it's gonna look like. It's awful dark behind me. Probably be able to see the lights on the pier. And that's about it. <laughs> There's a boat. You can see the lights on the boat out here. I swear I am hearing a dolphin down here somewhere. Yep, there is a dolphin out here already. It's kind of too dark to see it. I'm hearing a dolphin out in here. 
heard him coming up for a breath. So hopefully when the sun comes up, we'll see a dolphin or two. I heard him come up three times. Let's just enjoy this sunrise while we can. This, the golden glow there, the beautiful golden glow. Just heard the dolphin again. Holy cow. Something huge just jumped out of the water. I wish it was brighter out here, something huge. I don't know if it was a big ray. Something came flying up out of the water. Unbelievable. Ah. Come on, son, hurry up and rise. <laughs> Dolphin's just, he's not, he's kind of far out here too. He's coming up out in this area here. now they hang out around the pier there's several of them under the pier around the pier something going on in the water out there big school of fish out there Something happening out there. Look at that. Wow. That is a big school of fish out there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at the colors. Look at those colors. Look at the color, absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Down on the Naples Pier. Beautiful old Naples, Florida. Wednesday morning, 78 degrees. <laughs> glorious, glorious, glorious. Looking back to the east at our sunrise.
Look at that. Look at that. That is definitely a wow. Definitely worth a wow or two. <laughs> Good morning. hear that dolphin anymore. Camera's having a little bit of a tough time adjusting to the colors here. But you get the idea. You get the general idea here. It is beautiful. And it is just getting more beautiful by the minute. Look at those clouds. Look at that. Look at these, look at these clouds over here to the left now. I've got to try to take a picture. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please bear with me. I gotta try to snap at least one photo off here of this splendor. I'll be right back. All right. I am back. Wow, look at the water. Look at that water. Beautiful reflections. Good choice. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Stick with the eye. You, you got it. <laughs> Wow. I just can't stop saying wow this morning. It's been a while since I've had a good look at a sunrise here. We've always been looking over the tops of trees and bushes, <laughs> buildings, in between buildings. It's just magnificent, absolutely magnificent. What an absolutely glorious picture. As Roy would say, glorious for sure.
By the way, this now I'm panning to the north, just in case you're curious what direction we're looking. Spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. Sorry for the interruptions, just trying to save the moment here. Save the moment. Oh, look at this. Look at the birds coming in. Look at the birds coming in. Absolutely incredible. Now they're, sounds like they're, the fish, look at the, the fish jumping here. Listen to that. Look at them. Look at that. What's chasing them? What are they doing? They're feeding on the little ones. Bigger ones feeding on the little ones. Where's the birds? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, what incredible, incredible sights. <laughs> the Naples Pier waking up. Just incredible. all around <laughs> there's something happening all around just incredible where's the dolphins <laughs> wow. All the birds circling around out here. I don't know if you can see them. You should be able to see him now. <laughs> Just amazing. Let's go out a little further onto the pier. The 1,000 foot Naples Pier. This thing has seen its share of hurricanes. Another little feeding frenzy going on out here.
Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hit that share button. Hit that share button. The historic Naples Pier. There's the dolphin down here at the end. I just saw the dolphin come up at the end of the pier here. Let's see if he comes up again. There he is. See him out there? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he was. Oh. There's a couple dolphins out here. Right in there where all the fish are jumping, that's probably a dolphin chasing them. Where's the dolphins? <sighs> Where are you guys? One just came up out there. Another one over there. Oh my gosh. There's all the birds again. Look at the fish. Look at the fish jumping out of the water. Just incredible, incredible. Both sides of the pier behind me. The same thing is going on behind me. Unbelievable. What is it that's you're catching out here? What's running? Jack? Is that is it the jacks though making all the amazing? <laughs> Now you're going to see one of the sad things. 
<laughs> that happens here. Fortunately, we have somebody from the Conservancy out here. When we get all these birds, they get tangled up in the fishing lines. But thanks to the Conservancy, they get that taken care of. Sorry about that. Awesome. You got it. See, hooked or just tangled up? Tangled up. Clear? Yep, we're clear. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Conservancy. Awesome. So they're gonna be okay. Just yeah, I'm gonna put them in a cage. Shock. I'm gonna let them rest a little bit because they're takes it out of sure them. Yeah, awesome. Sure all right. Awesome. Thank you. So well, he was here at the right time. That was awesome. Look at that sky. Yeah, there's dolphins out here. <laughs> We're getting. All kinds of things out here, just incredible. Saw a little bird rescue there, a couple of seagulls that got tangled up. It's no wonder. I mean, did you see them all? Hundreds of them, hundreds. Just incredible. We've had quite a morning here, quite a morning. Looking back to the east. See, okay, here's a dolphin just popped up over here. There's no telling where they're gonna come up here. Another one just came up right over here. It's just no telling where the dolphins are gonna come up. I mean, they're just making their way back and forth along the pier. There's one. Let's see if another one comes up over here. It's still pretty dark here. It's hard to see down in the water. I think there's one swimming around right over there. Yep, one just came up out there. There's one over here. I see some bubbles. See some fish moving around. Another one, did you see him come up out there? One right there. Right there. One came up just to the right of me. Awesome morning. Awesome morning out here. Oh, yeah, catfish. Oh, dolphin came up right there. Did you see him right under the... Right. Another one back there. <laughs> no clue where the... Oh, did you see him jump up there? Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh.
Unbelievable. What a great morning. Is this guy going to come right up under me here? Let's see. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where did he go? The dolphins are just swimming back and forth here. So neat, so, so neat. This is one heck of a morning so far. One heck of a morning. The sun getting ready to come up over the trees. For the heads. Oh, there was a dolphin right there, right there, right there. Going under the pier, it's gonna come out the other side here, I think. Yep, somewhere over here, right here under me. I lost him, he went down into a little deeper water. Ah, that was cool. There's another one playing around out here. Oh, they're all over the place. There's at least three, if not more, out here. Oh, that's a bird. I saw one out here. Well, there go the fish. There's a dolphin in the background. dolphin behind me. Keep your eyes peeled. They're all, <laughs> they just pop up. They're just popping up all around here. There you go.
Getting a little further away there. down to the end here. Oh, oh that's all right. That's okay. See all the little shimmers of all the little bait fish down there? See the little shimmers in the water? All right, there's at least three dolphins here, at least three. <laughs> Just finding them is the tough part. Oh, there's one down here. I think he went just went under the pier. There he is. One way down there. So there's four of them. One coming at me right there. Two of them coming at me right there. So elusive. There's one, two. Another one there, number three. Hard time reading the water here looking for bubbles looking for bubbles out here Whoop. one over here 
they kind of split up here. They just split up and are going different ways. There's one. Oh boy, what an awesome morning. What an awesome morning. Oh, three of them just popped up right four of them. Oh. One keeps coming around the end here. They look kind of small. What's that? I'm closing the end down. Oh. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Just the very end here. So oh, pressure cleaning. Yeah, they're gonna pressure clean the pier here. They do a good job of keeping this place clean though. Well, oh, there's a doll, couple of them right there. Oh wow, they're going like crazy over there now. Oh well. There's another one playing down here to this to the east. <laughs> There's one dolphin coming up over here. Somewhere out in here. There he is, see him. Two of them. Two of them over there. Well, we've seen our dolphins this morning, that's for sure. We have seen our dolphins. Two out there. Getting 
getting a little further away from us here. Whoop. Little action right there. <laughs> awesome. And where did they go? There they are. Yeah. Little fish. Probably went down around the end of the pier there. All right. Must have went under the pier. There's some action down there at the end. Something stirring the water up over here. Ah, they just disappeared. Out there. Oh well. We've had a wonderful morning so far. A beautiful morning. Those birds were just absolutely incredible. Saw the birds feeding. We saw quite a few dolphins this morning so far. <laughs> We actually saw a bird rescue. One of the seagulls that got tangled up in the fishing line. Thankfully, there was somebody here from the Conservancy to get it untangled. We've seen a little bit of everything this morning. Beautiful colors. Birds going at it again here. Look at the fish jumping out of the water down here. Uh. Well, the trip ain't over yet, folks. The trip ain't over. The pier was just the first half of it, just the beginning. They're just catching ladyfish left and right here, left and right. Let's look up to the north. Mackerel, jack, ladyfish. Where are they now? Just amazing. The dolphin's coming in here. 
can hear all the fish jumping, a dolphin. Let's see if we catch this dolphin here. It was headed towards me. You can hear all the fish splashing around. There was a dolphin headed right over here towards us. You just really got to be here in person <laughs> to experience it. Dolphins out here now. A couple of them. Two or three of them out there. Yeah, they went under. They went under. Coming over this way. Uh, they're coming up all over the place now. Spreading out. There's half a dozen of them at least out here. Half a dozen dolphins out here. coming from all different directions, all different directions now. They're down here, down towards the end of the pier. There's a couple swimming around. Of course, they disappear when I point the camera down here. Wow.
no shortage of fish out here. No shortage. Fish or dolphins. Or birds. <laughs> I hate to leave. Could hang out here all morning. It's just something continuously happening, happening here all around me. But I promised, I promised to peek at Third Street South there this morning. So let's start our trip over to Third Street, off the pier, just a couple blocks away. Show you some of the shops and restaurants. Two things you do when you come down here to Old Naples. You go to Third Street South, go for dinner, and then take a short walk over to the Naples Pier for sunset. It is the perfect way to end your day. And you're gonna see just how close it is, how close the two are to each other. That's a look down into Port Royal. It's where all the big, beautiful beachfront mansions are down there. Some of them are just unbelievable, unbelievable. Back at our pier. I don't know how many dolphins were out here this morning. I mean, they were everywhere. They are just coming up out of the water everywhere. They're still out there. They're still out there. Let's head over to Third Street South real quick. We'll go past the historic Palm Cottage. Yeah, see, I got a few stars this morning. Boy, I think this was a big star morning. You guys got a real treat this morning. That's not very many stars for the experience we had today. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, wow. Wow, 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 that's all I can say. We had one heck of a morning. Birds, dolphins, beautiful sunrise. Dolphins still out here. Dolphins still out here in the water playing. There's a couple over here to the right. They're pretty far away from me now. Unfortunately, they closed the end of the pier off to do some pressure clean, and we were down there closer to them. You can just barely see them out there. See them there? 
A couple of them just popped up. Just an incredible morning. Yeah, a little tail splash there. <laughs> what a great start of our Wednesday. All right. Good morning. No, go ahead. It's okay. And look down to the south. Stupendous. I like that one. It was stupendous. It was a stupendous morning so far. So far. So far, so good, huh? That's pretty much almost the truth there, Donald. All righty. Off to Third Street we go. Oh, one important point here, all these fishermen, all these fishermen, this is the best part about the pier. No fishing license required on this pier. The city of Naples has a blanket license that covers anyone fishing off this pier, snook stamp included. So keep that in mind if you're visiting. You don't need a license here. Everywhere else you need to have a fishing license. Remember that if you're visiting Florida, you got to have a fishing license, but not here on the Naples pier. Thank you, city of Naples. Some little mosaic tile work here in the bricks, little sea turtles. Some of our little sea turtles in the brickwork here at the entrance to the pier, at the foot of the pier. And of course, a reminder, Naples Pier is a bird sanctuary. Please don't feed or touch the pelicans. Here we go, over to Third Street South. We're not gonna take a direct route here. I'm not gonna cut through the back way. Just a little roundabout way, but it's still a short walk from Third Street South to the pier. Tony, you are gonna have a blast. You. Can, you and Sean are going to have a blast here. This morning was just an incredible. I mean, that was, that's not an everyday occurrence here on the pier. <laughs> but today was just spectacular. Just good timing. 
I just kind of made the decision to come down here, oh, right before I went to bed last night. So, you know, I think I'm going to go hit the pier instead of the beach. I am so glad I did. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very happy that I did that. Beautiful here with all the palm trees. Look back down towards the circle. Handicap parking, but it's usually usually filled up here close to the pier, but the handicaps right here usually fill up as you can see there's only Four handicap spots right here You gotta get here really early in the morning if you want to get one of those The rest of the parking It's back here There's a little parking lot you got to pay. If you don't have a beach sticker, a parking sticker on your car, you got to pay for parking or have a handicap sticker. But there's, there's the parking lot over there. Construction workers, a lot of construction going on down here. A lot of construction down in the Port Royal area, but this is the intersection. We are at the intersection of 12th Avenue South and Gulf Shore Boulevard South. Naples Pier is on 12th Avenue South. Season in the season. This parking lot fills up fast. For sunset in our winter months, forget it. <laughs> you will not find a parking spot down here. You're gonna have to park quite a few blocks away. But next to me here, oh, here's one of the parking meters. One of the parking meters. Let's see, what does it cost here? What does it cost for parking? There you go. You want to know what it costs? Two fifty an hour minimum, a buck and a quarter. There you go. Now you know what it costs to park here. <laughs> unless you have a beach, unless you're a resident and you have a beach parking sticker on your car. But here is the historic Palm Cottage. My gosh, the bushes have really grown here this is the back courtyard oh let's look through the palm this is where they have some events out in their back courtyard their little cheeky hut over there the naples historical society has events here at the palm cottage we're going to see the palm cottage in a minute here we're just peeking through the fence at the back lawn where they have a lot of their events. Check them out. Palm Cottage, Naples Historical Society. Come down the hedgerow here. A little wooden picket fence. Can't miss the place. Can't miss it with this little wooden picket fence here. Here it is, Palm Cottage. Google it, give it a Google. If you're curious as to its history, you can give you a little bit of it here on the sign. It was built in 1895. It's the oldest house in Naples. There's their hours, 
and their website too, their website and their hours. Naples Historic Historical Society.org. Naples Historical Society.org. Come in on Saturday for a tour from 1 to 4 p.m. No reservation needed. Tuesday through Friday, you got to book your tours online. And there you got it. The oldest home in Naples, 1895. I believe the pier was built in 1888. The first pier, the first pier was built in 1888. It's gone through several hurricanes, that pier been rebuilt several times. The original pier was 600 feet long. The pier we were just on is a thousand feet long. Well, let's keep walking east East here on 12th, towards 3rd Street South. See, there's lots of parking here now. Lots of empty parking spaces. Summertime, COVID, blah, blah, blah. That dirty old COVID. Beautiful homes tucked in under the trees here. Beautiful little homes. Can't really see them behind all the trees. This is another older cottage style home, I believe, back in there, but <laughs> you're not gonna see it. Look at this ficus tree. Look at this big ficus. Those big roots, look at that. These things are so cool. I remember when I was a little kid, we used to have so much fun climbing these and weaving in and out of these big roots. Look at that. The ficus trees, the banyan trees. These get huge. These got pretty much destroyed three years ago, Hurricane Irma. And they're just all starting to grow back, but they used to arch all the way across the roads here in Old Naples. Pretty much everything's going to be closed here on 3rd Street South, but I just wanted to give you a look at, just a look at the atmosphere. It's beautiful. Over here, this is actually the parking lot. It's just off 3rd. It's behind Tommy Bahamas. Behind Tommy Bahamas. So if you're coming to 3rd Street, you want to check this parking lot first. Again, in the winter months, this parking lot's probably going to be full. I think this is where they have the farmer's market now on Saturdays. They hold it back here in the parking lot until November. November, they move it out onto 3rd Street South. They shut the street down. That's Tommy Bahamas over there. We'll see that from the other side. So remember, the parking is behind Tommy Bahamas, just a block off 3rd Street South. There is parking along 3rd Street South, but that usually gets filled up pretty quick.
there is a very very nice little breakfast spot over here now I don't know if it's open because of the COVID but it is a very very popular spot here it is Tony's off third over where you see that yellow awning just next to the yellow awning you might want to check that out on Google Tony's off third that is a very popular hangout for folks in the mornings oh sounds like they're doing some pressure cleaning over here hey get it done while it's early beautiful down here that big yellow awning that's the Ridgeway bar and grill another another popular popular place another very popular restaurant and bar here on third street lots of outdoor seating as you can see that's what's nice about third street lots of outdoor seating Sorry about the noise. We're doing some pressure cleaning here, but there's Tony's off third. Great brick, great pastries, danishes, coffees. Right here in the courtyard. Wine, nice little wine shop in there. Beautiful little courtyard. Shops upstairs, Morley upstairs, ladies clothing. Yeah, you got to clean the place sometime, especially with this COVID. Everybody's going the extra mile here. But that's a fun little place. Tony's off third. Check it out. We're already, already at 3rd Street South. We are standing at the intersection of 3rd Street South and 13th. 13th Avenue South. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Still sleeping here. 3rd <laughs> Street hasn't woke up yet. But in the winter months, starting, I believe it's November, I believe November, this will be shut down. This entire block here will be shut down, and that becomes the farmer's market on Saturday mornings from 7.30 to 11.30. It is absolutely one of the best farmer's markets in town. Over here across the street, another great eatery. In that pink, that pinkish coral color building, Jane's Cafe. Jane's Cafe down here. Let's see if we can peek in. And I don't know if they're open. Another popular breakfast spot. Breakfast and lunch. But beautiful little courtyard area with a little fountain in it. Let's see if we can take a peek in there without disturbing anybody see if things are quiet here well, they're just getting it set up just getting it set up for the morning good morning beautiful beautiful outdoor atmosphere let me check. Let's see their menu. Let's see if they're open for breakfast. I, th I thought they were. It's a great place to sit and have coffee. Yep, 
Yep, all day breakfast. Just looking at their menu here. All day breakfast. Jane's on third. It's been here a long time. Breakfast, lunch, salad, sandwiches. Jane's on third. You're gonna see outdoor dining is the theme here on third. Okay. Here we go. Lots of fine clothing. Eileen Fisher, lots of very upscale clothing shops here. I, I kind of refer to this as like the little mini Rodeo Drive. It's our little Rodeo Drive in Old Naples. Over here, let's cross to the other side. Uh, nobody's coming. Should be in the crosswalk. Shame on me. <laughs> Something, there's a hidden gem. See that sign right there, Old Naples Pub? Back behind here, back behind here. This is Barbatella, Barbatella. Trattoria. I mean, the food at all of these restaurants is nothing but five star, nothing but five star. But let's take a little walk down between the. There's actually Barbatella is on both sides here. They have indoor dining, outdoor dining. Most people really prefer the outdoor dining, especially now with all the problems we're having. It's beautiful though, the statue. Beautiful fountain here with the horses. Barbatella. And they have indoor dining on both sides of this little walk through here, both sides. The inside, the inside, you gotta check out the ceiling in this place. Look at the ceiling in here. Look at this. Look at the ceiling in here. That is absolutely gorgeous, Barbatella. Look at that. That is beautiful. Just getting it cleaned up, getting ready for everybody. And the bar over here. Nice wine selection. Oop, getting a bad connection. But back here is the old Naples pub. Look at this. The pub actually is inside, but there's outdoor seating as well. Look at this atrium area. Look at that. Look at the ivy. Look at the ivy. Absolutely beautiful. The old Naples pub. The camera just does not do it justice here. I'm trying. Absolutely beautiful. Noon time, this place will be loaded with people, loaded with customers. But the architecture is just incredible. And that ivy, look at that ivy. You'd never know it when you're out on Third Street that this was back here.
Mahi tacos. Thank you, Connie. Mahi tacos. Connie says, awesome mahi tacos. Well, let's keep walking. Let's go back out onto the main drag. Let me know if you're enjoying this. If not, I can always stop here. Beautiful little ivy covered archway there, the entrance way. I just want to give you a feel for Third Street South here. We're not going to go into every single restaurant and store, but just want to give you an idea of what to expect down here. Now, I, I can't tell you about music. They used to have live entertainment on Thursday nights here. They would have musicians set up along Third. With the COVID, I don't know what's going on with that. Everybody's kind of, you know, in limbo. Everything changes almost day to day. So definitely check out their website. Find men's clothing here, men and ladies. I mean, if this doesn't remind you of Rodeo Drive, I don't know what would. <laughs> Gattles. Gattles over here. They have been here for a long, long time, Gattles. This is where when they do have entertainment, there'd be some musicians set up here on Thursday evenings, people dancing here in the courtyard. It's just an absolutely beautiful place to even just come and take a walk. Just come here and take a little walk. Enjoy the sights and the sounds and the people. I mean, some very interesting people walking around here. Do some window shopping. You're, I guarantee you're gonna be tempted by something here. You're gonna buy something. I love these lion statues here. I love these big lions. That's partially because I'm a Leo, I think. I just kind of have a love for lions. Big cats, all big cats, but especially lions. Oh, this, this little fountain and sculpture, this was under repairs for the longest time. They finally got it working here. Beautiful. Some really nice artwork sprinkled in here, sprinkled about. Right behind me is Tommy Bahamas. We'll get a look at that. But across the street here, across the street is the Continental. The Continental, another fine dining experience, the Continental. And again, plenty of outdoor seating, plenty of outdoor seating. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? A good thing in. Oh yeah. Giving it, everything. Giving I everybody know. a good plug down here. Perfect. While, it, while it's waking that. up. I know. Get on, us going. Get us look for look for my videos on Southwest Florida Television on Facebook. 
I will do that. I, I, spent, I spent an hour out on the pier, and then I came over here, and we're just walking around. We're live right now. We're live right now. You want to say anything to everybody? Come to Naples. There you go. Come, come back to the restaurants. We want, to get we want you here. Back. Absolutely. <laughs> A happy Neapolitan. Isn't that beautiful? Can't you just picture yourself here having a nice glass of wine with your loved one or your. I like coming here in the morning because I can show you the place a little bit later on, you know, noontime, all the cars will be parked out here and it kind of blocks the buildings. Well, there's Tommy Bahamas. Tommy Bahamas is actually um, two sides of the street here, the restaurant and clothing on that side. And then that's the east side of third. And then behind me here is Tommy Bahamas Relax. Relax. This used to be the mole hole. Man, this was a famous little knickknack store here, the mole hole. It used to be yellow. Now it's Tommy Bahamas. Relax. And then across the street, this beautiful, beautiful brick building. I forget what store's in there. I gotta go check it out. It used to be a Roxa back in the old days. Go see who's in there now. But a beautiful, that is a piece of history right there, that old brick building. With the columns. Tommy Bahamas again over here on this side of the road. And of course, lots and lots of outdoor seating at Tommy Bahamas as well. Restaurant, bar, and store, Tommy Bahamas. Some bird of paradise over here. Some little birds of paradise blooming. Gorgeous, isn't it? Love that building with those the brickwork and the columns. delivery vehicles lots of fine dining here just lots of fine dining everywhere you look fine dining sea salt sea salt restaurant excellent Excellent, excellent cuisine. Google all these places. Lunch at the bar includes 
A glass of wine, fourteen ninety-five. Huh. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Four course dinner for two, with a bottle of house red or white, an appetizer, entree and dessert, eighty dollars. Hey, you know, considering the location for two people, a night out on the town at a really fine restaurant, sea salt. Their summer, well, that's I'm sure a special special. <laughs> Google their menu, sea salt. Campiello's, Campiello's. The old Naples Mercantile Building, built back in. I can't read that. Can't read that. Does it say 1919 or 1819? I can't make it out up there. I'm guessing 1918. The old Naples Mercantile Building, Campiello's Restaurant. A lot of you are familiar with Campiello's. Campiello. And then down here at the end of the block, Marissa, the Marissa collection. That she is an internationally famous designer of women's fine clothing, the Marissa collection. Fine clothing made to order. <laughs> Marissa. Beautiful building, beautiful building. Well, there you have it. There you have it. A quick look at Third Street South. A beautiful morning spent together on the Naples Pier. What more could you ask for? I hope you enjoyed this extra special walk this morning. If you did, show it by sending some stars. Two hours out here, over two hours. Make sure you share. If you're bored and you want two hours of entertainment with your friends, pop the video on TV. Go to YouTube. Watch it on YouTube TV. We'll be back down here when they open the farmer's market up, when they go full bore here and close the street down. This entire street that I walk down, they close that and it becomes the farmer's market on Saturday mornings. I think they're gonna start doing that in November. We'll see what happens. It's all about the COVID and the rules and whatnot. Again, Tommy Bahamas, world famous Tommy Bahamas. <laughs> you gotta watch the beginning of this video. You got to watch the, our walk out on the Naples Pier this morning. The colors, incredible birds, dolphins, we got the whole Naples experience this morning, the real Naples experience, downtown Naples, you know what this is, you know what that plant is there, frangipani, I, I believe that is a frangipani, it's beautiful, very fragrant, beautiful little purple blossoms here. You can get different colors. 
I believe that's a big fringy panty. Actually grows into a tree. There you go, that's what I'm talking about, some stars. Yeah, some stars, baby. <laughs> I appreciate that. I think it was worth it. I think we had a good time this morning. And these are the kind of things I wanna do in the morning. I wanna take you to some other locations. I love our beach. We're gonna do our beach walks, you know, but every once in a while I wanna get off the beaten path and visit one of our other little areas in town and share that with you. Maybe even get down to Marco Island someday. Fort Myers Beach is quite a trip. We might make a special run up to Fort Myers Beach and just kind of show you what's going on up there. So if you wanna see things like this continuing, there's, well now there's three things you guys gotta do. Three things you gotta do. One is obviously you gotta be my friend. You're all my friend, that's why you're here. Your friendship is what I value and very important. It's what makes this whole thing work. And the second thing is obviously your financial support is what keeps me going on these live feeds. And I thank you for the stars this morning. Those of you that are regular monthly supporters, thank you. But the third thing that is really important now is sharing. Sharing, sharing, sharing. I wanna see this page grow and grow and grow just continue to keep growing we've got so many wonderful people here let's keep it up i want to see this southwest florida television family just continue to grow I don't know about the guys with the little pitchforks there. What are they doing? Fighting off the dragon. Fighting off the dragon. Can you see the dragon there? <laughs> Look at that beautiful blue sky. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue sky. All right, I am going to sign off. Thank you guys. Thank you for spending the, your Wednesday morning with me. If you missed anything, you can watch a replay either here on Facebook or on YouTube. Tally ho, everyone. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.